Oh, uh, announcement. Yeah. So PAX Day, that 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 trailer, that bit of trailer, that's from PAX Day, a new MMO that was announced just recently with a really sparkling reveal trailer. Followed up with kind of a meet the devs video that explained a bit more about the new upcoming MMO being created by some industry veterans. And all of this has a lot more substance than, uh, let's just say, refer to another MMO announcement we got earlier this year. that I may have had a video on, on this channel, warning you about. But it also might be a game that we're waiting for for a while. This does not feel imminent at all just to set the tone before we get into it. PAX Day is being developed by Mainframe Industries, which boasts industry veterans from games and studios like CCP Games EVE Online, Blizzard Entertainment, Ubisoft, Rovio, and Remedy, the creators of Alan Wake. There aren't a lot of details about the game design, but we know this. It will have PvP and PvE, but you'll begin in an area called the Heartlands, which is kind of the safe area in which to build. And yes, it looks like you'll actually be building. But this isn't just a prettier version of Life is Feudal. Some of the still images from the website show downright terrifying monsters. Like, look at this thing. What in the Starship Troopers rejected design is this thing? I don't want to run into this thing ever. Beyond the Valley, you are not protected by the Divine Peace, the name of the game. From the way this is portrayed in the announcement, it really looks like they're relying on humanity's curiosity and desire to go out and explore. And you get this real sense of foreboding as the world darkens away from the divine peace, entering a world of myths and legends where magic is real, ghosts are real, and whatever the f this thing is. The game is being built from the ground up with social interaction at its core, while building on new tenants in the industry. It looks like it might be positioning itself as a bridge between older, more social sandbox MMOs like Ultima Online and, well, EVE to a newer game. We know that it's going to be created in Unreal and they're calling it a social sandbox game. That it is designed with human interaction and social play at its heart. Well, but still my fluttering heart, because when I think of social sandbox MMOs, there are two games that really stand out to me. Ultima Online, which launched in 1997, and Star Wars Galaxies, which launched in 2003. Ultima Online still exists, while Star Wars Galaxies no longer exists unless you count the emulators. These are the kind of games that I think fell by the wayside in the wake of World of Warcraft, when World of Warcraft became this massive success in 2004. No one wanted to go back and try the sandbox elements because that was obviously not what the audience was showing they wanted when millions were playing World of Warcraft and you maxed out at like 250,000, 300,000 in Star Wars Galaxies and Ultima Online. This alone is a bit of an interesting thing for me to see this game in development because it's a game that I had thought was gone. It's the type of game that I thought no one was going to take a chance on anymore. But there's always a but, right? There's always a concern, and my concern comes with how they plan for you to play the game. It comes with the team's eye towards new technology, how they would expand the game out from PC to consoles, and yes, the dreaded phrase, mobile devices. But how they plan to do this is interesting, so perhaps don't write off the game just yet as just another mobile port. First, they're actually building it for PC, and then looking towards other things later. They're looking at making this game playable via cloud gaming platforms. What this means exactly is open to a lot of interpretation. In the past, this has led to a reduction in controls to make games more adaptable up to on-screen controls on mobile devices. And as you see in the trailer here, it does look fairly simple. But they have also talked about how this will kind of be a blending of the casual player and the hardcore player, finding that sweet spot in the middle. We'll just have to wait and see what they plan to do with this. And since they're building originally in PC, if it's something they would actually stick to, or if it's just an attempt. As for setting, we know that PAX Day will be set in the medieval era, where as they put it, a vast social sandbox MMO inspired by the legends of the medieval era. Here, myths are real, ghosts exist, and magic is unquestioned. In the immense open world playground, you choose the role you want to play. Immerse yourself along with thousands of other players as you explore the land, 
build your home, forge your reputation, and craft your own stories. If you weren't feeling the Ultima Online vibes yet, the game talks about finding your own plot of land beyond the safety of the heartlands of which to call home, a place where your clan can grow and prosper. Everything in the game is produced by players' hands and skills from clothes, walls, food, flowers, weapons, armor, tools, and more. It's a fully player-driven economy where everyone matters, whether you're a skinner, harvesting, or going to war. Player-driven economies, base building, homes, and interconnected social roles in MMOs aren't new. In fact, these kinds of simulations are what early MMOs like Ultima Online were built on. Other recent MMOs have tried to recreate this in varying degrees with varying success. New World, Glory of Victus, Life is Feudal, Legends of Aria, All Beyond Online, Mortal Online 2, Worm Online, and many others have all some sort of elements tied to the original sandbox style, especially with player-created economies and each have had their own success and failures at capturing the magic of Ultima Online. Some going too far, while others not far enough. Will PAX Day be different? It certainly looks to boast the most amazing visuals. Utilizing Unreal Engine 5, this game will be absolutely beautiful. But are you excited for PAX Day? They're taking alpha signups right now, so if you want to run over to the website and sign up, what's the harm? They also have a Discord open, so if you want to have input on the game, you can join their Discord. They're, they're even going to be doing an AMA here soon. One thing is for sure though with PAX Day, they're trying to build a world. And I, for one, am thrilled to see at least the attempt to do so. I'm excited to jump in and see what they have to offer. I'm generally optimistic and that's how I'm looking at this game as well. It could be great and that's what I hope it will be. It is a new type of MMO with roots in old sandboxes. A living, breathing world. At least, I hope. My name is Redbird Flynn, and if you enjoyed this video and you want regular updates on MMORPGs, RPGs, and survival games, then here is your place, and I hope you will enjoy your time here. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day.